Node isn't going to show us anything interesting, but the browser is a little bit better about showing where this hidden URL is actually in the closure like this. So let's go over to the browser. I'm going to go in Code Sandbox, create a vanilla project, basically paste everything in. I'm not going to import cross fetch because I'm using Chrome, which is a modern browser and actually has fetch. Look what happens when I actually log out the news fetch. You can see the functions there. Where in the heck is that URL coming from? Well, if you know anything from what we just showed in our closure, that URL is hidden up top. So although the code sandbox is not going to show it, it actually is in there already pre-filled. So this function is just waiting for us to call fetch module. This is their version of the actual print of the function. But if we look in the browser console, you can see it's a little bit better function definition there is that it takes a fetch module and it's returning that fetch module URL. So that URL, though nowhere to be found, you and I know it's in the closure. It's just waiting for this final parameter to actually do the work. So when people say query functions are waiting for that final argument or final parameter, this is what they're talking about. And everything else is already stored in a closure. So there's no way to affect the privacy, in this case, affect the purity of it.